a scientific publication emerged that reported an experimental finding in which, if I understood it correctly, the S protein, that is the spike protein gene from the Omicron variant, was somehow grafted into a wild type, which I think means the original SARS-CoV-2 genome, right? The Wuhan strain. Wild type SARS-CoV-2? <laughs> it was pretty wild. Wild type? I really? They... We're going to use that term here? I hope I'm not inventing that part, <gasps> but I do believe they used okay. wild type and point. then WT. But anyway, the point is they did this fascinating slash terrifying experiment in which they took this escape variant produced gene for spike protein and they put it on the Wuhan strain. I think it was the Wuhan strain. Mm -hmm. And then they did some stuff with it where they gave it to a bunch of mice and 80% of them died. Okay. Now, okay. If that's They gave true, the, the virus, the resulting the new virus. The virus that they had created. The... Franken-Franken virus. <laughs> the Franken-squared <laughs> virus. I think yeah. Considering... It may be at this point. Mm, it's hard no. It's hard to keep track of the exponents. Well, actually, really. in light of the weirdness surrounding the genome of Omicron, maybe it is cubed. But anyway, we digress. The point is, one, that suggests something very frightening. I mean, A, it could be po it's possible that the mice are weirdly vulnerable and that that is not in any way indicative of what would happen in people if such a thing occurred. Hi. Um, it's like, you don't have a computer. Let me sit on your lap. <laughs> um, but let's just say, one, the idea that this new set of genes for the spike protein, which now exist in the world, freely floating around infecting people, hmm. that that combined with the background from a strain that is presumably no longer floating around, but certainly could be, yeah. right? We, it's not like we did something clever that got rid of it. It just other things outcompeted it in the, in the swarm, right? There's nothing in what you read that suggested how difficult this would be to have happened naturally. I think the point is, as an evolutionary biologist, I feel perfectly well positioned to say probably not it's this, not like it's it's like a person being born with an elephant trunk or something no i don't think so i think it's the opposite i think oh. i think the point is um a we don't know a ton about how all this works but a person being infected with two strains simultaneously could there well, be but recombination that's different. Uh, oh i see two strains hmm. right so hmm. i guess i'm not expecting to see this leap in one go, but the, the idea that the whole quadrant, the design space involves a simple taking of two things that were produced by whatever process got us here and putting them in the same virus produces that kind of mortality rate, that's terrifying. What is also terrifying is that somehow in 2022, people are still running experiments like this. Oh my God, yep. Right? Mm -hmm. I mean, for one thing, at the very least, these people just handed a tremendously potentially dangerous formula to whatever hates us, mm -hmm. right? You need a certain amount of biological knowledge to do what they did, but, no, but rocket now, science it was Now a plausible end product bioweapon is known. Yep. Which takes considerable technological know-how and money to build the lab in which to implement that know-how, but, but still, it yeah. exists. Now, let's just say, I'm not a molecular biologist. I'm not a laboratory scientist. Hopefully, I've misunderstood something about what I've read. Mm -hmm. but and I haven't seen I don't even you know what paper you're talking yeah. about. Um, but the whole thing read as extremely... Uh, alarming, both from the point of view of what it suggests could evolve naturally, naturally at this point, um, or what somebody could arrange, and the mm -hmm. fact that people are now still playing these kinds of games in labs, even though we've yeah. seen how you know a gain-of-function experiment that 
turned a virus into something with a comparatively low case fatality rate still turned the world on its head. Yeah. Right? The destruction from this thing is astronomical and, you know, will in the end be indefinitely large given that we now have no way to control it. Mm -hmm.